hello guys and welcome back so in this lecture we are going to create a one way platformer through which our player can jump and we are also going to see how to create a drop down mechanism so let's get started here i have created a project where my player can move left and right and he can jump now if you want to create a similar project like this then check out my mario style jump tutorial the link will be in description so right now we have these two platforms on which our player can jump and right now we cannot pass through them so let's make one of the platform to be a one way platform so let's rename this to one way platform and i will move this to the left side and this one to the right side and let's change the color so that we can differentiate so i will just make it a green color something like this and after that i will click on add component go to physics 2d and i will add this platform effector 2d now as you can see here uh, we are getting some warning so for our platform effector 2d we need one of our collider to have used by effector active so once i active this you can see here we are getting some arc like this and this arc determines uh, on which side we are going to get our collision so after doing that let's click on this layer option and click on the add layer and here we will add two more layers so one will be one way platform and one will be our player now select the player and change its layer to player and let's click on yes and for one way platform it will be one way platform after doing that let's go to edit uh, physics settings physics 2d and here you can see we have layer collision matrix now i'm going to untick this where we have column and row same as one way platform and what this does is all the game objects on one way platform will not be colliding with each other now select one way platform and here in collider mask let's untick our one way platform now let's double click on our player movement script and open it now in update here we are going to check if is grounded is equal to true and input dot get key and our key code will be our down arrow key that means we are pressing our down arrow key then we are going to change the layer of our player so we'll just say game object dot layer is equal to and if i go back to my editor and select my player you see here our player layer is at number 10 and our one way platform is at number 9 so we have to change our layer to one way platform so let's set number to 9 and if i save the script and go back to editor so let's select the player and in our what is ground we also want to tick mark this one way platform so that our player can jump uh, on both ground as well as on one way platform now if i click on play let's try to jump and we can jump through the platform and i can jump on the platform and if i press down key our player drops down but you can see here our player won't land on one way platform again and the reason is here our player layer has changed to one way platform and as we know two objects on one way platform will not collide with each other so we need to reset our layer to player so if i go back to the script and here at the top i will just check if is grounded is equal to true and game object dot layer is not equal to 10 as our player layer is on number 10 i will just copy this and paste it here and instead of 9 i will just type in 10 now let's save the script and go back to our editor select the player and let's see let's click on play now right now our layer is player if i press jump and now if i press down arrow key you can see our layer changes and then reset to player form and if i try to do same thing here you can see nothing happens 
we cannot pass through our platform so this is how guys you create a one way platform in a 2d platformer so thank you guys for watching if you like my video do share and subscribe to this channel and i will see you in the next lecture thank you